Hello, this is Tony Heller from RealClimateScience.com. YouTube contaminates my videos with propaganda messages like this one. Climate change, United Nations. Climate change refers to long-term shifts in temperatures and weather patterns, mainly caused by human activities, especially the burning of fossil fuels. This propaganda is based on the age-old belief that humans are at the center of everything important in the universe. I investigated the history of YouTube propaganda messages and found this video from the year 1633. Heretics were questioning the scientific consensus that Earth was the center of the universe, so YouTube decided to help put a stop to that. Vatican. Every 24 hours, the sun, stars, and planets rotate around the Earth. I also found this YouTube video from the year 1912 when some scientific heretics were trying to make the claim that the continents moved over time. YouTube tagged the video with this context message. Scientific consensus. Experts agree that the continents are rigid and cannot move. And here's a YouTube video from the year 1921. The scientific consensus agreed with the idea of eugenics that some races were better than others. YouTube tagged the video with this message from the American Association for the Advancement of Science. Vigorous movement of race hygiene for race character and betterment. The ideas espoused at the 1921 meeting of the American Association for the Advancement of Science became the philosophy which the Third Reich was based on. Michael Crichton said, The greatest scientists in history are great precisely because they broke with the consensus. There's no such thing as consensus in science. If it's consensus, it isn't science. If it's science, it isn't consensus. Period. Galileo was put on trial for going against the scientific consensus that humans were at the center of the universe, which is very similar to the philosophy which climate alarmists are espousing today. They want to believe that everything in the universe is centered around the activities of humans. Galileo didn't have a lot of respect for scientific consensus. He said, in questions of science, the authority of a thousand is not worth the humble reasoning of a single individual. And he also said, by denying scientific principles, one may maintain any paradox. Climate alarmists always imagine that they're defending science, but what they're actually doing is defending the orthodoxy against science. Dr. Richard Feynman said, We live in an unscientific age in which almost all the buffeting of communications and television, words, books, and so on, are unscientific. As a result, there is a considerable amount of intellectual tyranny in the name of science. Ecologist Alan Savory gave a very good description of the difference between science and academia. People talk glibly about science. What is science? People coming out of a university with a master's degree or a PhD, you take them into the field and they, they literally don't believe anything and this is a peer-reviewed paper. It's the only thing they accept. And you say to them, but let's observe, let's think, let's discuss, they don't do it. It's just, is it in a peer-reviewed paper or not? <laughs> That's their view of science. I think it's pathetic. Gone into universities as bright young people, they come out of them brain dead, not even knowing what science means. They think it means peer-reviewed papers, etc. No, that's academia. And if a paper is peer-reviewed, it means everybody thought the same, therefore they approved it. An unintended consequence is that when new knowledge emerges, new scientific insights, they can never ever be peer-reviewed. So we're blocking all new advances in science that are big advances. If you look at the breakthroughs in science, almost always they don't come from the center of that profession. They come from the fringe. The finest candle makers in the world couldn't even think of electric lights. They don't come from within. They often come from outside the breaks. We're going to kill ourselves because of stupidity. Speaking of stupidity, Joe Biden always says that he listens to the scientists. But the people he actually listens to are government and academic hacks who tell him what he wants to hear in order to push his agenda. Toto understands that what's going on with the scientific consensus is the same clown show as 500 years ago. You can visit him, Curie, and Caesar on the web at realclimatescience.com.